What's good everyone, it's Zigzag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Good to have you along on the channel today and welcome back to another episode of the road to number one player in the world on GeoGuessr Jewels. Obviously, last time we came up against Karania, who's probably the best player in Australia right now. We took a couple of losses, but I'm hoping to get back uh, on the wins today. Uh, so do subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the series. If you want to keep up to date with it, best way to do it, subscribe. And we're playing against Geo here, who I believe is top five in the world, if not top three maybe I think so you know, let's see how we can play against Geo here first one is it Indonesia or is it Malaysia I, um, or actually Philippines I think it looks like Indonesia um but would it be Java would it be elsewhere not too sure about that we have 2023 copyright cars not really going to help us here I thought Indonesia and I think it's probably Sula or Java and of the two I might prefer Java here so I'm gonna go for central Java let's give it a go and it was Sula, um, and he goes in Sumatra, so, I mean, not a bad way to start against one of the top-rated players in the world, but at the same time, would have been nicer if we had have actually nailed it there. Not to worry, next one here, Southern Africa, I would say. Well, is it Argentina? Might be Argentina in hindsight. Now, we have quite a few eucalyptus trees, so this doesn't feel like it's going to be too far south. I was thinking maybe Mendoza, New Ken, something around there. Uh, and I'm not really getting too much more of a vibe. I mean, obviously the, the fact that it's so overcast does make it look a bit further south, but, uh, no, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go here on the border of New Ken and Mendoza. I feel like that's a decent guess. Uh, but we'll just have to see, uh, where our opponent goes here. Obviously, it's, oh, and he, does he 5k? He 5k's it. There's no way. I really... We are playing NMPZ, right? How's he 5 k that? I don't know. Repeat, probably, because, as you know, all the modes are being played on ACW now, so people know repeats and stuff like that. It's a little annoying. Next one here. It looks like a uh, Peru to me off the bat for some reason. It's definitely Latin America to me. I, I just don't really know where. We got a number plate behind here. Uh, exit full screen. No extra info here. I still think I might go Lima, uh, but... It's, it's a bit of a stab in the dark. Do we have any electricity counters? No. Where's the sun? Suns. It's pretty much midday, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try Lima here. Could be a number of other places, but I think the short plate does kind of fit. It's an old car, so sometimes old cars have, like, kind of rarer number plates because they're just registered a long time ago, but we'll find out here soon enough. Um, and hopefully he doesn't know the repeat again. Obviously, if he hasn't guessed by now, probably not, though. Uh, but let's see here. <laughs> and ends up being in Peru. That's a nice guess. And he's all the way over in DR, so it's good damage. Honestly, the 5k didn't matter too much because I managed to vibe that one out, so... Could be in for something here. We got a black screen. Gonna refresh it just to make sure it's not... Uh, the game is full, and okay, we're actually in. Nice. Okay, and we're driving left. This should be somewhere in Thailand. Uh, just feels like middle of Thailand to me, so I think I'm just gonna go for that center hedge here. I'm just gonna go right here. That should be fine, I think. And we go for the exact same guess. Ends up being a bit further northeast, but uh, yeah, hedges. Four days, just one point there. And uh, yeah, we take a pretty nice lead here. We gotta find out where Geo is in the world after this one, because... That's clearly a very interesting duel to start off with. Next one here just feels like uh, the northern part of Cam Cambodia to me. He's instantly in. So northwest and kind of west, we do see some mountains here. I'm going to go up in this uh, wildlife sanctuary here. And it ends up being, oh, just middle. <clears throat> but he actually guesses in the same sanctuary or just near it. So uh, clearly my guess wasn't too unfounded, though it is pretty far away. Next one here, we appear to be in the US somewhere, maybe. Uh, we've got some reddish roads here. It feels quite dry. This almost gave me a bit of like a Utah vibe or something like that here. Arizona, New Mexico, also possible. I think I like Utah. And the road angle, it's pretty distinctive here. It is like kind of red rock, like you kind of get around the quad point here. Um, so I might just go for that, but it could be further north. Like there is some sagebrush going on here, which is a bit suspicious, I guess. Uh, west, northwest. I'm gonna go on this road here. Not too confident on it, but we'll see. And it ends up being in Nevada. Not what I was thinking, to be honest, but I guess with that much sagebr sagebrush, it makes sense. And honestly, I, I low-key feel like my guess was better there. Um, but, uh, you know, we do take quite a bit of points damage there, so that's unfortunate. Next one here, just gonna be somewhere in Bolivia. Uh, Sucre Hedge here feels fine to me, just in case he doesn't know. Um, I don't think it's Peru. Just hard to describe, but it is Generation 3, which obviously is more common in Bolivia, and he also gets it, so yeah, not going to be too much damage there, but a good guess from us, and it makes it completely even. We're back in the lead indeed. 
Okay, next one here. We are in Christmas Island, Australia. Uh, highly doubtful that he would get this wrong, but just in case he does, we'll go really quickly here. Um, and let's see if uh, Geo knows of uh, these poles, which are unique to Christmas Island. It is possible that he just somehow, somehow doesn't think of it, and we take the dub here, but of course he does know. Yeah, it was worth a try to go quickly, but uh, when you're playing against a top three player in the world, or at least on the leaderboards he is, then, you know, you must, uh, you must, you must take every opportunity you get. Next one here, okay. What do we have? Russia, I would have said. 2021 copyright makes me think that Russia should indeed be correct here. Now... Uh, given that fact, where do we want to go? This kind of felt like Arkhangelsk to me. It definitely feels a bit further north, but where in the north is kind of a good question. I still think I might go Arkhangelsk here. So let's, uh, let's, let's be a bit risky here. Obviously, if we're wrong, we're pretty wrong. And it is all the way up there. And that is going to be GG's. And it was literally Arkhangelsk the city, which is what I was kind of thinking, but I wanted to hedge. And we take the win there. So that's obviously a big change to the last episode. 25 points. Let's see actually where Geo lies in the world right now. We've just taken him down a bit. Um, and uh, he, oh, he, I could have sworn he was uh, top 10 just recently. Uh, but uh, at the moment, maybe a few losses in a row. And uh, he is in 45th. I'm pretty sure he was top 10 just very recently, but I could be wrong about that. Anyway, um, let's head back in here again. Um, and we play Gia again, so let's uh, let's get some more ELO. <laughs> I don't really know if that's uh, going to be possible to win twice in a row, but obviously it would be a nice result. This one we have red on the number plate here, so probably somewhere in Albania. And I'm thinking Tirana's a pretty good guess here because this feels pretty developed. Um, mountain over there to our east. Definitely can fit, but that's pretty common to see mountains to the east in Albania, so we'll just have to see here. Uh, but this has been a content episode already. Even to get one win is obviously nice. And it was actually south, and he actually goes in Montenegro with the, the red plate right there, which is uh, uh, pretty elementary knowledge, but sometimes, sometimes you just forget things like that. That's, that's perfectly reasonable. I actually went Albania on Montenegro yesterday, so I really can't talk too much. But next one here, we're going to be in Bangladesh. This is kind of the uh, polluted coverage, plus we have white road lines. Um... It is 2022 coverage, which I believe means you're somewhere in this central region here. And to me, this looks like Dakar. This actually just looks like downtown Dakar. So I'm just going to go there. And indeed, it was right near the city, uh, but also a very similar hedge from Geo here. So just 78 points, although we are still flawless after two rounds. I'm kind of, I'm kind of a little nervous. I want to win this one as well. This is Korea. Uh, I'm going to click middle here. No real idea what this would be and he does the same and again we're slightly closer so maintaining our flawless uh with uh, about a 400 point advantage so far okay next one here we are in malaysia a country i do like to see he's in for the guess not really too sure what i think of this one could be a number of different places i was thinking maybe nigari sembalan here can as easily be like kelantan or pahang or something oh i froze but I'm going to leave it there. It was Pahang, um, and he's slightly closer there. That's absolutely fine. Just going to be 159 points of damage there. And let's head through to the next round, where we are looking at some Taiwan action. Um, and it is pretty dry here, which I'm initially noticing. Kind of strangely dry, um, but I don't really, I don't really fancy my chances on Taiwan. So I'm just going to hedge it south here because of the dryness. And it was south, but he also goes for the south edge, so not really going to be too much in the way of points there. 168. Not too bad, but also not too much either. Okay, now we get through here. We can see the roof rack here. You might not notice that. And this should be Ghana. And we see biggish mountains over to our east there, so I'm just thinking somewhere in this region here with the big mountains east. This could make a lot of sense right there. Oh, and it was the east stuff. I silly didn't think of that. But that is where you get a lot of east ridges, so it makes sense. 900 points. Happy that the bad guess didn't happen later because uh, that was a fairly, fairly easy east. Next one here, Argentina, I would say. Yeah, definitely Arge here. Um, and I thought maybe just Buenos Aires, but actually looking at this, some of this vegetation feels a bit more inland. So I thought maybe Cordoba then. Uh, do we see any mountains anywhere? We don't. Um, it could also be further south because we saw a poplar here, but no, I, I think I think Cordoba, just in the center of things here, southwest angle is pretty decent. And he goes for the same guess, although it was actually Buenos Aires, right on the very, very south there. Buenos Aires, pretty huge province. 
Um, but we are lucky to get away with not too much damage there. Next one here uh, is Malta. Definitely looks like Malta to me. I'm just going to make the guess here. He's already in, so should be indeed. And indeed it was. So this one's been a lot more tight. <clears throat> also a lot easier. We have not had any hard rounds yet. Um, which the last two we had some pretty crazy ones. But uh, this one just looks like it's going to be somewhere in Hong Kong as well. Yeah, so just a bunch of farming the multis here. We're going to have a very big knockout round soon. And uh, to be honest, to be at a disadvantage while the multis are high, it's not a bad position to be in. It's definitely preferable to uh, having high multis when you have the advantage. Uh, but here we are in Austria, very German. I mean, I don't, I really don't think this is Slovenia because we've got like a very German looking road here where it's kind of patchy, um, a little bit kind of salty, salt and pepperish. Um, and didn't really make a region guess here. I didn't really have time to kind of think of what I thought it is, but I'm gonna go here. Feels fine to me. And yeah, we actually managed to get a really close one there. So that's going to be another couple hundred points of damage. 600 indeed. So it's basically dead even now. Honestly, the the uh, Malaysia, I kind of got distracted during the round. Everything else has been good. This is the UK. It's very flat here. Thinking East UK for that reason. But it's also very generic. And Geo is British himself. So we'll have to see. I thought Peterborough here. It definitely kind of feels further south, but it's also very flat. So yeah, I'm actually going to go just here. There's a nice even hedge for... Oh, I was very quick to assume maybe there was something in the distance that I could have used there, but that's just knockout damage. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Not so good. GG. Um, okay, let's look at that round again. I don't want to view the replay. Actually, yes, we can. We can go back here. Okay. Uh, it's not an easy France. I think the trees on the left, in hindsight, feel a bit warm. But no, it's not an easy France. So I don't think I really threw there, although in, in the sense that we lost, um, it was a throw. But uh, okay, let's head back in again here. We only lost eight, so we're still up. And uh, yeah, we have another opportunity to win here. Hopefully, I mean, this last duel was pretty, pretty boring. So I hope this one will be more interesting. Uh, looks like it's going to be Finland to me. Opponents immediately in. Is it actually Finland or Sweden? We have five dashes on the crossing. I believe that's Finnish, not Swedish. I think Sweden has four. Yeah, from what I recall, Sweden has four. So this should be good and it should be fairly southern here, I imagine. And it is. Uh, yeah, just kind of kind of warm vibe about it. And you know, most of Finland tends to feel pretty cold. So that's a good result. Next one here. Where are we going to be? Fountain of Wealth in Sunti, Sunti, Suntec City. Are we in... Uh... Yeah, I think we must be in Hong Kong again here. Double yellows. Um... It's an interesting... Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Is this actually Singapore? I think it's Singapore, no? Okay. <laughs> he realized it too. Man, this is, no, it's no joke, bro. They do look similar. I've done that in Jewel series before, so unlucky to uh, Geo there. That's a, that one sucks. I mean, I thought it was Hong Kong first. I almost said it and I didn't say anything because I was trying to concentrate on the round. Uh, but, uh, yeah, okay, pretty funny one. Next one here, uh, has a bit of a South vibe, Monastir, Spax, something like that. There was a lot of coverage around Spax. I'm gonna go Monastir on this occasion, and it ends up being Spax. Yeah, had to be one of the two, really, kind of got the middle vibes. Um, and, uh, yeah, we have our first damage dealt to us. We can't fumble here, guys. We have such an advantage. Let's just try and ride it out, make good guesses. This one feels fairly north, I would say, in Tunisia. And we're going northeasterly here. So let's go back in. Tunisia, as I've mentioned in the re recent videos, has these kind of long dashes on the outside of the road. Uh, I thought just like that. Although, maybe just Monastir here again. I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to hedge. It's fine. And, uh, well, he's going to know the country. So the question is who can get closer here. And it's only going to be a matter of a maximum of 500 points. So we shall see. Um, but uh, generally speaking, you do get more vegetation in that green north section. And we actually managed to get right on the road there. Bit of an accident, but I didn't kind of think that was the uh, vibe of the vegetation, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so here we go. Okay, North America could be good for us. We can do it in one fell swoop in North America. What do we have? Brutus Camp Delhi. We can't really, we don't make out too much here. I, I kind of felt that this might be Canada. Um, is that a US flag or a Canadian flag? I can't even tell. Uh... Yeah, double signpost is interesting, though. I might go Michigan here. Oh, and it was Michigan. Nice. Just, yeah, double signposts are very common in Michigan. 
And I was going to go in Ontario anyway, so it wouldn't have been too bad. Uh, we go for the same guess there. Well played to uh, Geo on that guess. Um, because I was only there in the very last second. It couldn't, he could have possibly not registered my guess there, but we're lucky. Next one here. Um, looks like it's Indo, Indonesia. We got these kind of typical Indonesian poles with the thin crossbars. We have a very cool roof here. I'm not really sure what this one means. I think it's like Southern Sumatra or just Java somewhere here. And maybe I got more of a Sumatra vibe. I don't know. It's definitely not an easy round. I think I'm just going to put him in here. We have that advantage. I'm going to go Palembang here. And okay, we go for the same guess. Ends up being um, in central Kalimantan there. So it's a bit of damage for us. Nothing crazy. He goes for Jumbi. So yeah, just kind of had that vibe to both of us, I guess. Next one here. Knockout potential here. I think this is going to be somewhere in Finland. Feels fairly far north, but... I don't really trust that. I'm going to click halfway up the country here and it is halfway up the country and he also got the vibe. So definitely many solid guesses from uh, Geo here. We got very lucky with that first round and we could take away another good chunk of uh, or, or another good amount of rating here if we get it correct. This is generation four South Africa. We're driving left here. Um, it definitely feels a bit like Eswatini. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking we might be somewhere up this direction. Maybe hasty to go so quickly, but I do still think it's the northeast quarter of the country. Maybe could be down to Durban, but I do think it's up here. We'll have to see if uh, he has the same vibe. I imagine this guess is pretty standard, uh, but we'll see here. And it ends up being, yeah, okay, it was in past Durban there. Big damage for Geo here. It's going to be 4k. And all of a sudden, the game is completely even. Oh my goodness. Bit of a throw there. Um, I did consider it, as you saw, but you know, I didn't think it would be that far south. Okay, next one here is Brazil. Brazil. Vibes are southern here. Vibes are definitely southern. Uh, and yeah, kind of older architecture I'm noticing. And how far south do we want to go? It definitely feels coastal as well. I might just go here. Curitiba, maybe? Hmm. I'm gonna go here in Santa Catarina. I think the pole tops... Oh wow, Sao Paulo. It was my other thought. And that's just going to be GG. Yeah, wow. I mean, that was a throw and a half. Obviously, he's lucky how the multis panned out. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's just unfortunate for us. Okay, we're against a different opponent now. 1.2k rated Indian player. Going to be a very different vibe here. Let's see how we can go. Wow, glitch in the uh, glitch in the matrix there. Okay, what do we got here? This is Tunisia. Oh man, that last one is frustrating, but what can you do? Um... What are we going to go here? This kind of looks a little bit like Tunis, but I think it's still more Monastir or Sfax. I'll click in the middle here. I mean, really, really on a round like this, I should just be insta-guessing because there's a possibility that our opponent wouldn't know. Well, it's just Tunis there. Um, and yeah, you really just get your guesses in against someone who is 1.2k rated or below, in my opinion. Okay, so let's see if we can put that into, into action here. We're in Russia. We got Birch Tree, so it can't be too south. Um, it could still be Ukraine here, actually, but no, I do think I like Russia. I'm going to go for a Chula guess here. I think it feels decent, almost feels a bit, um, like, autumn, autumnal. So, yeah, okay, ends up being, yeah, right on the border there in Belgorod. And a really nice guess from our opponent. Um, if you get that kind of coverage, it's not going to be in Kursk, but, uh... Maybe he was just hedging, or maybe he didn't know, but regardless, he's pretty close there. Hedging for both countries, most likely. Uh, we have a yellow rear plate here. Are we in... Uh, I just saw two yellow plates in Serbia in uh, on Jake's channel, so maybe we're in Serbia or something like that. So it doesn't feel like the UK, uh, but it can be France, actually. I think we see shutters on the, on the uh, windows here, so I would say this is actually France, and I'm going to hedge right in the middle because I'm not really sure where it would be. It feels quite warm, right? Um, he's crying. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be France, but this kind of lamp and these shutters on the windows, yeah, it is northeastern France there. And our opponent goes in Croatia, pretty reasonable guess. It's going to be a thousand points for us, so we're back in the lead. And what do we got next? This is a fairly difficult round. I see no obvious info here. Uh, it feels like Europe, feels like maybe French road lines, actually. Because I was thinking Italy first, so southern France doesn't feel too bad. I'm, I'm going to go for that, hedging a bit for Italy here. Um, yeah, kind of, so French road lines are a bit longer, um, and, yeah, and also, like, rock walls, oh, that's a great guess, rock walls on the side of the, uh, road are also pretty French and, uh, Italian as well, it's gonna be good damage, and, yeah, the theory of guessing as soon as you know where it is really does stand up, stand to reason, I think, against, uh, against people of this rating. Okay, we have tons of pine trees here, 
it's worthwhile to probably get a bit further south in Norway for that reason. And Norway also has the yellow long lines in the center, kind of French style, but yellow instead of white. So that's going to be another nice chunk of damage. Honestly, just playing pretty nicely on this one. Oh man, the Brazil is so annoying. I should have got the Brazil on the uh, Geo one. Okay, next one here's Korea. We got Korean language. So where do we want to go here? This kind of feels like I'm going to click in the middle, I would say. <laughs> and it ends up being in the middle, so that's always nice when the middle clicking works out here. So another chunk of damage. Let's just hope we don't get multied again, which has happened to me on some occasions in the past, as you guys have seen. But here we are, yellow center line, red painted po pole bottom here. So I would say that puts us in Guatemala. I don't actually know where in Guat this would be, because it's pretty flat. Um, maybe it feels a bit more east in Guat. I'll try that. And it ends up being Eastern Guat. That's not going to be enough, but it's close. It's going to be 600 points of damage there. So brings in below 1k health. And hopefully we can do it here because this is a fairly difficult Europe. I would say maybe Bulgaria here. In fact, I really do think it is Bulgaria. And I don't really know where. So a middle hedge is not going to do it. It's all the way west there. Yeah, I did not really get the vibe for that. So 159 makes sense. Um, and can we do it now? I'm just waiting for a fairly difficult round where we can out region guess, but it's been a lot of urban stuff here. So this to me would be, I guess, with the black plate somewhere in Argentina, I believe, right? Should be. Well, it's quite unfamiliar. Um, the red brick architecture, it, it feels quite dry here, right? So I'm a little bit confused by that. Where, where why are we so dry here? Um, yeah, but some of the trees, some of the trees almost feel a bit colder climate. So I'm thinking I just hedge in the middle of everything here. It shouldn't be all the way south. I mean, could it be Commodoro? I would like to think not. Um, just gonna hedge it a little further south here. Just, just in the middle of everything. Let's see it. And it was, and our opponent, yeah, sensing the dryness goes through. And that's actually a new Ken there. Very interesting new Ken. Wouldn't have picked that, but it didn't matter. We still gained seven points of rating. So we're still positive for the episode by a good margin, which is good. And we're back against the same opponent. Sadly brought him below 1.2k, but, uh, you know, sacrifices have to be made when you're going for road to number one. And the next one here is looking like it's going to be somewhere in Finland to me. Um, and I'm just going to go quickly again. We like, okay, why is this Finland? We have, wow, <laughs> we have red barns everywhere and um, we have the antenna on the car as well, which indicates it's going to be Europe and then birch trees as well. Very common, but uh, I don't know why Finland over Sweden there. It's kind of hard to describe. Anyway, next one here, we are in Indonesia and we have tiled roofs, which are much more common on the island of Java, but elsewhere as well. Is this kind of giving me a Lampung vibe? It kind of is, just flat and farmland-like. Uh, and we have a very orange roof there, which is meant to be a Lampung thing. I'm going to make the switch. We'll see if that pays off. And it was just where I had it, unfortunately. But our opponent goes further away from us, so it's not too bad, I guess. Uh, East Java there. Also probably the flattest part of Java, so it makes sense. Next one here, double yellow. So somewhere in North America. Uh, or is it? I mean, it feels very strange, this, but it should be. Um, why, why is the road so red? Like, it's like pine needles or something. Uh, the, no, it's actually just red dirt. I do not know where we are. I kind of just thought maybe, like, Idaho, but it's obviously a seriously risky guess if we're off base here. Ah, but screw it. I'm going to go for Idaho. I think it's I think it's somewhere out in the west of the US. Like, what explains the red soil and these trees? Maybe Colorado. Maybe that's why, because it, cause it is a bit further south. Um, closer towards the red dirt that you get down here. And it was even New Mexico. Wow. Colorado would have been better. I, I kind of figure that actually no red saw really exists out there. But uh, New Mexico does make sense because uh, of how very red the soil was and the, and the uh, trees were just baiting. Okay, next one here, Mexico. I mean, it's a tough round. Um, yeah, hmm. It could still be a bunch of places. I, I definitely think Colombia is possible. I definitely think a bunch of stuff is possible. I would say Mexico is most likely. Um, we don't really have the sun. Oh, wow. And it was Philippines. I mean, yeah, there was a bunch that was possible there. It's the exact same latitude. Opponent goes for the same guess, but in Guatemala. To be honest, it looked even more like Guatemala, but uh, we didn't have the car. So, hmm. okay, next one here. It's going to be somewhere in central Java. We have a central Java pole. So let me explain that one to you guys. So it's kind of like a raised trident where the the one in the center is uh, a bit higher. 
And um, if you want to check those ones out, the top insulator is always like um, attached to the side of the pole. So we didn't actually see it there, but it's very useful to know if you want to get Central Java consistently. Next one here, we are in uh, Kenya. We've got the uh, kind of uh, silver follow car that follows you around Kenya. Now, this is kind of a difficult round. I wondered about out east of uh, Nairobi here, Katui somehow sometimes has this vegetation, I think, but I'm not really sure where it is. It was Katui, nice. Opponent goes for a bit of a southeast guess here. It's been a slow duel. Um, either we completely missed it or got it pretty much right. So yeah, I mean, let's just see what ends up happening here. Uh, and we have some United Kingdom. We have like kind of not very English architecture, like more white walls instead of red bricks. So feels more like Wales or Scotland and pff, not really too sure here. I, th I don't think it's Northern Ireland. I think I would prefer Wales here perhaps, although it's not, not really an easy round. We'll, we'll, we'll see where this actually is. And it was actually Scotland instead. Uh, yeah, right on the border with England. Um, and it's gonna be 1.6K damage there. Good guess from the opponent. Um, yeah, I mean, it was my other thought, but sometimes you lose the 50-50. Next one here, this should be Monaco, right? I would like to say it is, although <laughs> we have a lot of British flags for some reason and a yellow rear plate here. Is this actually Gibraltar? I don't think Gibraltar looks like that, right? I think that's just, I think that yellow number plate's just a coincidence. I have to go in Monaco here shortly. I mean, we're looking north, so that also makes sense for the angle of the coastline. Surely this is right. Uh, it is good. I mean, I was a little worried there, but I'm pretty sure Gibraltar is not very populated compared to that. So yeah, we, we, we will find realistically. Okay, next one here. Um, we have the United States. This could be bad for us. Uh, can we lock in? Um, it's very sandy, I'm noticing. We have an American speed, speed sign. So yeah, speed limit instead of maximum. Uh, it kind of feels East Coast to me. Um, and it doesn't feel too northern, but some of the houses feel a bit further north. So, yeah, I guess I guess the sandiness I'm gonna trust and go like Virginia here. We do have front plates, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Virginia, Delaware. I'm 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 gonna hedge it out here uh, for a vaguely northeast round. We'll see though. And it was oh was Virginia. I was gonna go Norfolk, but I wanted to hedge a bit more. And that is going to be GG's, obviously. Nice little guess there. Um, just the sandiness does actually work pretty well for the coast there. And I think that is where we're going to end it today. So obviously we're up 27 points for the episode. Although it would have been really nice to take that win with the Hong Kong uh, Singapore 50-50 round. But, you know, sometimes that's the way it goes. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time and goodbye.